further member statements, the member from Eglinton Hearts. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I'm honored to commemorate Rosh Hashanah, a very important high holy day for members of the Jewish community all over Ontario and in my riding of Eglinton Lawrence and all over the world. As members of the Jewish faith come together to celebrate Rosh Hashanah, marking a time of year in their lives to reflect on the year ahead. This past Sunday evening marked the first day of Rosh Hashanah, translated as the head of the year, also means the Jewish New Year, and is one of the high holy day holidays. On this day, Jews are called to examine their lives, focus on penitence, uh, and plan for the new year. Uh, some of the observances during Rosh Hashanah include blowing the shofar, a hollowed out ram's horn. Blowing of the shofar is meant to wake up the soul and motivate repentance during Rosh Hashanah. Eating sweet foods like apple dipped in honey, pomegranates, challah symbolizing the hope for a sweet new year. And a special prayer is recited thereafter. May it be thy will, O Lord our God, to grant us a year that is good and is sweet. And I wish to wish all of uh, the Jews in my community uh, a sweet and uh, happy and healthy new year. And especially to my good friend Mel Korn, uh, who had a, uh, a bicycle accident yesterday and was taken to Humber River Hospital, but is doing fine. So uh, I want to wish everybody Shana Tova, Umetaka, to all my friends in my community. Thank you.